Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about operators in VHDL. So there are some predefined operators we are using in the VHDL language. So there are four different types of predefined operators. One is logical operators logical operators and second one relational operators relational operators third shift operators shift operators and fourth adding operators adding operators Along with these four, we are also having two more operators like multiplying operators and miscellaneous operators. Multiplying operators, and miscellaneous operators. Now we will see one by one logical operators. By seeing the name, we can understand that it performs the logical operation between two operands. So logical operations, logical operators. So logical operators performs logical operations between two operands. So logical operations means what? And operation, or operation, and nor like that. So there are seven logical operators available. So first one, and operator, and operator. So and operation is performed between two operands by using this a n d word. So a n d is a predetermined word. When you are typing this a n d in VHDL platform, automatically it recognizes it is a logical operation. Okay, it is a logical operation. Automatically, it simply uh, detects that logical operation and operation okay suppose for example i am writing a and b a and b so when you are writing this line automatically between two operands a and b it performs and operation and the second one is r operation so r operation is performed by r nand operation is performed by n a n d nand and similarly nor not operation n o t x or x nor these are exclusive operations see here and or nand nor not x r and x nor so these are the seven different operators we are having in the logical operators so you just by giving the particular operation with this word that performs the logical operation between the two operands when you are taking the not gate not gate example uh, something like y is equal to is equal to here it is assignment so y y is equal to not a y is equal to not a so y is equal to not a when you are writing this line y is equal to not a the inverting of the a will be stored in the y output okay so y is nothing but here output uh, because it is the value will be assigned into the y so all these are different different logical operations and the second one is relational operations relational operators relational operators relational operators relational operators the name clearly tells that it gives the relation between two operations that may be equal to less than greater than or less than equal to greater than or equal to so they are the relational operators are the relational operators are equal to slash is equal to less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to less than equal to greater than equal to so here it is equality condition it says equality condition it is not equality condition 
not equality or inequality okay and it is less than greater than less than equal to and greater than or equal to okay all these are different relational operators relational operators means it, it finds the relation between two operands and the third one is shift operators shift operators so shift operators means suppose if you are having an example for example if you are having 1010 1010 suppose when you are shifting this particular 4 bit information onto the right hand side then this one will move to the first position and this zero will move to the second position this one will move to the third position again if any new data is there that will be coming into this fourth position okay in that way the shifting operation is being performed suppose if it is a rotation then the zero will come into the first position okay so here there are several uh, uh, operators are available so the operators the shifting operators are the shift operators are s l l I'll write the full form also s l l means shift left logical shift left logical and the second one is s r l shift right logical shift right logical and s l a shift left shift left arithmetic shift left arithmetic s r a shift right shift right arithmetic shift right arithmetic and r o l rotate left r o l is nothing but rotate left and r o r is rotate right rotate right so these are the different shift operators shift op operators so shift left logical shift right logical shift left arithmetic shift right arithmetic rotate right rotate left so these are the different operators with respect to the shifting operations and now adding operators so the fourth one is adding operators so adding operator adding operator just very simple it is having only three operators three operators are there one is plus another one is minus another one is ampersand so plus is addition it performs addition between two operands addition and minus means it performs a subtraction it performs subtraction between two operands and ampersand means it performs concatenation it performs concatenation between two operands uh, addition operation we know addition operation plus normally 2 plus 4 equal to 6 like that subtraction 4 minus 2 equal to 2 like that but concatenation means when you are performing the concatenation between two numbers for example for example a is equal to 1010 0, 0. b is equal to 1100 0, 0. and now i am taking c as a concatenation b a concatenation b so a concatenation b means after simulation you will be having the result as result as c is equal to 1010 a concatenated with the data as 1100 which is nothing but b so a b just the data in a the data in b these two are combined together concatenated side by side and then that will be stored in c but in order to perform this particular task here see here a is a 4 bit size b is also a 4 bit size then c must be minimum of 8 bit size to have this particular concatenation between two 4 bit numbers okay definitely it should be satisfied with respect to the size also so these are adding operators and now coming to the 
multiplying operators multiplying operators so multiplying operators there are three multiplying operators first one star it directly performs the multiplication multiplication and next mod mod and next reminder mod and then reminder so mod is nothing but modulus operator rem rem is nothing but reminder reminder mod is nothing but modulus so these two operators operate on operands of integer type these two mod and reminder are operated on integer types and the result is also of the same integer okay the result of the reminder operation after this reminder the result has the sign of its first operand as the sign of its first operand after the reminder operation the sign will be equal to the sign of the first operand but the result of the mod operator has the sign of the second operand and the suppose for example for example a mod b is equal to a minus b into n a minus b into n for some integer n for some integer like n and a reminder b is written as a minus a by b into b a by b okay this is multiplying operators three, three operators are there multi multiplication directly just a star and mod and then reminder and the last one the last one is which is nothing but miscellaneous operators so all other types of operators that comes under this miscellaneous operators so in miscellaneous operators there are two different operators we are having one is absolute another one is exponential absolute and exponential so absolute operator is defined for any numeric type absolute operator is for absolute is for any numeric type any numeric type and this is known as exponentiation exponentiation so this exponential operator is defined for the left operand to be of integer or floating point type and the right operand should be an integer type right operand should be an integer type suppose for example i am taking a exponentiation of b so when you are taking a exponentiation of b that gives you a must be either integer either may be or you can say a may be a may be an integer or floating point number or a floating point number integer are a floating point number but whereas b should be an integer b should be an integer so these are the different operators we use in the vhdl programming remember one thing all these suppose if you are taking logical operators i told you and or inverter all these are some logical operators and or not but and or not whether they are small letters or capital letters in vhdl all letters are case insensitive in vhdl all letters are case insensitive in vhdl letters are case insensitive that means whether you give whether you give capital a and d or small a and d 
both performs same operation both performs the same operation it does not look for the letter okay it is uh, whether it is a small a and d or capital a and d or mix of both capital a small a and d that also treats as and operation okay this is about operators in vhdl thank you